Uh, day two, uh, OVC Outdoor Track and Field Championships with uh, Courtney Gapaloo. Did I did I get it right? Close. Uh, the uh, the CMO senior and uh, Independence native, who's a uh, a uh, senior and a Fort Osage grad and uh, earns another, said fourth or fifth title here at, uh, at OVC uh, shot title and um, 50 feet or so today. Yep. Tell me, tell me uh, what you were thinking going in and uh, how, tell me, talk about how things played out today. Um, I knew that I just had to go out there and do what I was supposed to do. My team needed me and I did what I was supposed to do. That's all that I wanted. How did the series play out? Did you wear your, your, your winning throw? Where did that come in the series? Uh, it was in finals, about my second toss. Okay. I had a couple ones that could have been better. It was just slipping out of my hand. And, but I'm glad I came out on top. That's all that matters. Sure, sure. You said you've got a 50, best of 52 in the shot. And uh, um, is it frustrating when you're not feel like you're just all, I mean, did you feel like you were go throwing good today? I mean, uh, obviously throwing, you can rip one and still be throwing great and still be, yeah. you know, a four or five foot difference. I felt like this is probably the best series that I've had um, all season. It's just been a rough year, but, you know, conference is all that matters. And sure. Yeah. And uh, where does that, where, where do you sit right now in the uh, regional stands? It looks like for sure you'll make it to your second straight regionals. Yeah, probably sitting 26. Okay. 26, 27. Okay, in the West West regional prelims. And um, tell me, did you do the hammer or the disc or anything else? Yeah, they, it was okay. Okay, I'll just huh? leave it there. It was okay. okay. Score some points yep. besides the 10? Yeah. Besides the 10? Yeah. Okay, but not, not super happy though, no. huh? Okay. Well, what? Uh, tell me what that's like winning another uh, winning another uh, conference title and adding ten points to to the, the team score and uh, hopefully pull off a team title here. Uh, it feels good, you know. I, first of all, it's all all the glory goes to the man above because without him, I wouldn't be here. He blessed me with the talent to you know throw heavy things far. So without him, you know, I wouldn't be out to be nothing. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, um, um, we'll see if you guys hold on for the team title. Have you guys, uh, you guys won indoors? Is that right? Uh, last year, guys uh, won indoor. Okay. And then, uh, so have you been a part of a team title? Yeah, indoor. Oh, last, okay. Last year, indoor. And uh, we'll maybe pull off a men's and women's. There you go. Maybe a wins, men's and women's team title It'll today. Be the first so. time in a while. So. Yeah. Coach Eric deserves it. He's a great coach, and I hope that we can pull it off. What's it like working for him? There's not a whole lot of coaches in the country that are head coaches that are throws coaches. Tell me a little bit about him. Coach Eric is the man. He's awesome. He best coach, coach of the year, hands down. Knows what he's talking about and very chilled guy. He's like our calm dad. Sure. And he's just he's awesome. Great guy. I'm gonna miss him. Well, I'm still gonna be around, but yeah. What was that you photo bombing uh, shot that I was got with him and one of the guys yesterday? Yep, that was okay. Me. Okay. Well, congrats and good luck on the uh, last chance meet. And maybe move up in those in those preliminary standings and uh, good luck and uh, stay healthy and maybe you'll have great uh, regionals and earn a trip to uh, to Eugene for nationals. Sounds good. All right. Thank thanks. You. Thanks, it. Courtney.